Hi there class, hi IDM students. Um, welcome back to my tutorial series on animation in a pixel style. Uh, so today we're going to be introduced to the topic of building tile sets for your video game. Um, and this is a really useful technique that's used by all sort of 2D and lots of other style video games in the pixel art style where you create a series of basic building blocks that you can use over and over in your game. So there are a couple of things that are important to keep in mind as you're building out this tile set. And uh, what I would like to see is at the end, we have basically what's called a tile sheet, which basically gives you all your all your building blocks um, that you can then use in your actual game. And you have it there for reference. So um, first thing I want you to do is go log into your Piscal account, PiscalApp.com, and you're going to go to create a sprite. Now we're going to be going for kind of a classic old school um, tile set here in the sense that we're going to be using the basic sort of standard frame for tile work. Um, and this is actually a good sort of uh, thing to reference when you're doing all your animations is, okay, if I'm designing my character and designing my environment and designing my tile set, what is the base unit that I want to be using? Now. A kind of standard style uh, pixel art or pixel is going to be 16 by 16. So let's start right here, uh, resize, and we're going to resize the drawing area. Right now it's set to 32 by 32, which obviously you can tell is uh, 2 times 16 by 16. So this one in particular, we're going to go for 16 by 16. We're going to size it. We're going to leave that default size there because that's good for building slightly larger things like your character. Um, but if you're designing individual items, for instance, or things in your game, 16 by 16 is a really good place to start. Um, by restricting the size that you're working at and keeping it consistently 16 by 16, uh, things are going to have a more cohesive feel. So let's resize to 16 by 16. Um, and then we're also going to go to our settings, go to preferences, and I want you to click on enable tile mode, set the mask opacity to like 10 or so. Um, this is going to give us just an idea of how well our tile set is working. So we can see how it'll be working in the game. So you can see if I zoom out here using my scroll wheel, um, we have this mask around the outside and you'll notice that when I'm drawing here, you can see these little drawing points to the side. So it just shows you what the tile set is going to look like. Okay, let's get a few other things set up. Um, always, 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 always rename your layers because that'll actually allow us to do a lot more work in a, in a smaller space here um, by using layers. So let's go layer, and we're going to call this, um, pardon me, uh, base dirt. Enter to put that in there. And we're going to choose sort of a nice ground color. We're going to go kind of a Super Mario sort of style design here. So let's scroll down into the red orange area and then scroll down here. And we're going to look for. Uh, that looks kind of nice. So I'm using 94 5BOD. You don't have to use that, but that's one I'm going to use as my base color. Um, I'm going to use my paint bucket tool or B hotkey. And we're just going to fill in the tile. You can see that it fills in around here because it's tiling. Uh, and over here, you'll actually see the preview of how it looks as a tiled pattern. And so we'll be able to tell fairly easily how it all looks here. So that's our base color. You can see it shows up here in our palettes. Let's go with, um, I'm going to go with a slightly darker color. So I'm just going to drag from where I was down. I'm going to grab here. Um, I'm going to use this two brush. Yeah, I'm going to use a two brush for now. Um, and we're going to kind of fill this out. So one thing to keep and remember is if we're working in 16s, um, 16 by 16, I'm going to try and get this uh, pattern to work on here in an eight by eight. So I'm actually going to go this little thing here. And I'm going to count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what I'm actually going to do is just slightly offset this. So I'm going to put a mark. Uh, so 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the center, right? Eight and eight. So I'll have two eight and eight tiles, but I'm actually going to go up one to nine. I'm going to put a mark there. And then I'm going to go right down to the bottom here and put a mark right here. And that way, we actually have, um, it's divided into two equal sections with a little mark there at the bottom as well. So what we're going to do is we're now going to go over to this side, click here, click here, and we are going to start building out our basically kind of a wave pattern Super Mario style. So let's click once, click once. We can actually just start this at the bottom. And then I'd like to put one there, two there, two, three, and no, let's put four, and then one, two, and one. So I can already see that my pattern's not quite working out the way I want it. Um, I want the top and the bottom to be about the same. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to add that there. So we have four and four. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll have three and one here. So I'm going to actually just move this over very quickly. We can use this tool right here. And cut, paste. Take a look how that looks. We've got to fill in a little bit here. Okay. So this is a little bit of experimentation. So we're going to go two, 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 two. There we go. So now we've got kind of a nice wave pattern. So we've got four, you can see because of the tiling, we've got four, so two and two. And then we have two, 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 two. So we're going to do that same thing right here. So two, one, two, and one, two, three, four, and two, one, two. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this just a little bit thicker. So basically we can just grab this pen size up and go bop, 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 and bop. So we've added just a little bit more uh, weight to this line, making sure that you don't kind of create like these double thick lines. Lines should have this nice clean uh, building pattern. And we're going to do one more time. Starting to really like this. Um, and we're going to add a little bit more detail to this right away just to really make it pop just a little bit more. Um, so we've got about one, two, three, four, five pixels in between. I'm almost wondering if we should. Yeah, we're going to do it all the way up. It's all about experimenting with what kind of feels right to you. Um, and that uh, and that's going to come with practice and just how it looks on screen. Do a lot of re sort of revising. Um, so now we have like a, a, an actual perfect repeating pattern where everything's the same uh, width. But now I'm actually going to go in and add one more brown. We're going to go with just a little bit darker of a brown. We're going to use our one brush. We're basically just going to create almost a feeling of texture a little bit of an overhang to to this dirt of uh, sort of layers or striation. Um, it's nice to add these little touches. Remember we're working super zoomed in and oftentimes when you're really zoomed in it can feel like it's not quite working because it's uh, you're, you're seeing it too close. Pixel art's actually designed to be seen from far away and so always keep that in mind. Like zoom out and like oh okay no this actually looks Kind of good if I zoom out a little bit more like this, right? Um, so this is your basic dirt tile um, in this kind of the Super Mario style. So let's make sure we do a quick save now and then we're going to get on to building in the next tutorial a little bit more detail into it. So click on your save button, new tile, Mario style dirt. Mario style dirt tile. That rhymes nice. <laughs> Save. And um, so this is this is the first tile we're gonna do in our demonstration. And uh, we're gonna start adding a few things, like we're gonna add a top with some grass, 
we're going to add some side shading, and then we're going to build a whole basically pixel style sheet out of this. So just make sure you follow along with each of these videos. I'll be putting them in a playlist on YouTube, and you can follow along and learn how to do this with me.